Yes. Uh, and you can uh, give me some. If you ask me some questions, maybe I can. Okay. Start. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where to start because I had a very long journey. So, right. Right. So I don't know really where to start. Okay. Okay. So when you started. Mm -hmm. I know you're from a commerce background, whatever, but okay. how did you get started in the finance? Like, what, what way did you have any challenges? So, okay, when I started, um, okay, uh, I should admit that although I started, uh, I came from a commerce background, when I started, uh, I didn't apply, uh, meaning I... I did think like everybody else a little bit mm. in the beginning mm. that you know okay so some auditor will take care of this problem mm. kind mm. of a mindset, mindset. Uh, right yeah, right yeah. Mm. right mm. although uh, my uh, although my com I had commerce background I actually did not consciously thought of using that knowledge somehow mm. I mean, mm. Right, and uh, so for some time it went uh, through an auditor, mm. and it, it used to be a uh, lot of delays and things are not getting done on time, mm -hmm. those kind of stuff. Mm. And I think after two years or something, I was looking at how they are maintaining. So one time I actually wanted to look at the tally, I think we had mm -hmm. used tally at the time, right, now right. we are in QuickBooks. Okay. So, look at the tally and the way they are, see where every time I ask a report, mm. they will export everything into Excel mm. and then again try to massage Manipulate the data, it. Massage, uh, mm. somehow produce that report and take ages to come. Right. And I don't know why it takes so much time. So, I actually went and looked at their uh, tally system. They've not even done the head of accounts uh, organized correctly. Okay. Hey, wh whatever default uh, tally gives you, they tend to use that mm -hmm. and then make mm -hmm. add, modify, delete. Right. And not really think through the creation of the chart of accounts mm -hmm. and uh, put them properly. Mm -hmm. I ha they haven't done that. Right. And because of that, every time the reporting becomes, it's easy if you, if you build the hierarchy properly, it's a roll up. Right. Right, because uh, absolutely, yeah. Right. So and uh, because they haven't gotten that, uh, what you call logical thinking in their mind. Mm. Somehow mm. I feel the accountants, mm. they are not that much logical. Uh, they are uh, logically that much good as well as maybe a little offensive to say this. Their IQ levels are not that. Mm. High. Probably they are not applying there. They are applying that mm. maybe simply from. Probability perspective, all mm -hmm. the cream of the people go and join engineering or something like that, and slowly only not so cream people end up in. Uh, okay, I wouldn't agree with you on that, but no worries. No, no, yeah. uh, not in chartered accountants. Right. Uh, but right. I'm talking about like a, within a company, there are like we have a finance guy mm -hmm. or an accountant, uh, accounting guy. Mm -hmm. We hire them, either they do BCom or MCom, mm -hmm. and they're not. Of course, the CA should have actually corrected that, right? right. But uh, somehow I feel like there is a disconnect mm -hmm, in mm -hmm. that because there, maybe there is a talent uh, issue there. Okay. Like okay. even some of the other, some one time, couple of, two, three people came from uh, the auditor's office. Mm -hmm. Even we had our own accountant guy. That's not very smart, but he's a hard worker. Right, He'll do right. everything perfectly great. They need guidance. They probably. need guidance, yeah. right? Yeah. But even the guy who came from the auditor's office, mm. they used to send one, different different people. But even they lack that clarity. Mm. Mm. I see that they lack the clarity. So, mm. no, finally I had to go one day, on Sunday, Saturday, I came and then mm. sit with them and mm. define the yeah, chart of Yeah, you all have to and then I, I, yeah. And then... Sometimes, you know, like the auditor also we pick because somebody said some auditor is good or something like that. Right, right, right. But the domain knowledge of software, you know, the mm. understanding that what is the IP stuff. Mm. See, they think about like inventory, mm. what is your inventory mm. and all that questions doesn't make sense <laughs> to me, right? Correct, correct. Uh, inventory in software, we don't stock anything, right? Sure, So sure. those kind of questions... They don't. They shouldn't even be asking. Correct. Uh, correct. Right? So correct. Then I had to put all these things, and then it was okay. 
but what? every now and then I don't get that kind of time to so yeah to devote to absolutely. devote to this. So do you review the financials yeah, yeah. early on? How how often during your growing stage uh, initial stages? Early on, we used to do only sort of we wait end of the year to review it. Oh, okay, yeah, so, okay. Uh, but we keep track of uh, CPI. Is that a right approach in your? No, there are two things. Uh, the formal review we do at the end of the year, mm -hmm. but we have a separate uh, cash flow tracking to run a startup. Right, we need mm -hmm. a cash flow tracking system mm -hmm. because, and I have an Excel sheet which I track the cash flows and mm -hmm. I ask the accountant to fill, fill this up. Mm -hmm. So then every month. Pretty mm. much I know like what I need to do. So that right. is up to date like a right. monthly basis. Okay, great. Right? Okay. So, okay. Uh, but uh, any monthly quarterly review of your P&L? No, we don't do like that at that time. Now we are doing it only on a quarterly basis. Even monthly we are not doing even now. Okay, okay. Right? So we are only doing on a quarterly basis mm. because we have a board meeting and we have to send the to the investors, uh, investors all this stuff with them for process. Mm. So, so we have to anyway do that. <laughs> right, right, okay. So, yeah. Okay. So that is roughly how it happened. Um, yeah. I mean, there are a few people I met really smart. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, uh, there is a guy called Jaydeep uh, mm -hmm. Halbe. Okay. Uh, so, he um, he runs another small finance type of firm. Okay. But he is super smart, actually. Like, somehow, um, more of such talent uh, needs to come into this uh, profession. Maybe they are only available in some limited quantities in some pockets mm -hmm, but the mm -hmm. bulk of the talent that is available mm -hmm. especially at the entry level mm -hmm. is not really having that okay, uh, okay, okay, finance okay. clarity actually okay. although they have done their uh, uh, core discipline in that sure, right? sure. but maybe there are a few people who are really good mm -hmm, they, mm -hmm. I even asked him if you can join us uh, uh, for head of finance <laughs> <laughs> because he was he was really good actually, right right guy. right so, okay okay Good. So, how has been your journey from the finance aspect? Uh, it, actually, then uh, again, uh, for example, one of the things I feel is that uh, finance guys are typically late adopters of technology mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they tend to resist uh, te uh, new technology. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, for example, they got stuck with Tally for quite some time. Mm -hmm. And one of the problems I have with Tally is that it is not online. Mm -hmm. Right. And any and we really don't know if the data is safe. Absolutely. And mm -hmm. you know you need to take backup. There is mm -hmm. a virus issue. Mm -hmm. or, you know all that stuff. You know I don't want to risk it. Right. Right. I was right. telling them, you know, guys, move to QuickBooks. Go, 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 go for quite some time. And okay. It never happened, uh, uh, right? And uh, then they kept kept coming back to me and saying, uh, "Why it will not work?" <laughs> <laughs> they are reverse convinced right, me right, this is right. not there. That okay, is not there. Okay. And one day I told them, "You have no choice. <laughs> you have, <laughs> you to, have move. to move." Right, right. And then I then still is not happening. So I actually sit sit and uh, did some analysis of mm, why. Mm, it's better. Mm, and in fact, mm. I wrote a blog. Oh, why okay. we moved from Dali to QuickBooks. Oh, okay. I'll okay. send you the link. Sure, sure. One. And good. there are a lot of people who are comments commenting on that. I see. I yeah, see. So I actually we did uh, some reasonable analysis. Mm -hmm. And then finally, I pushed them to move. Now we moved. And You're now, happy with it? Yeah, very much. So everything is online. If I need to look at something, I can take a look at it. Mm -hmm. uh, now we have, um, so we have a slightly different problem, mm -hmm. right? Uh, see, when we were, when we moved to QuickBooks, we were on a non-SaaS product. Mm -hmm. So we used to sell uh, licenses and we get uh, annual maintenance. Mm. But now we are on SaaS, which is uh, recurring uh, and we have a revenue recognition, which right. needs to be done on a monthly basis and right, stuff like right, that. So right. what we do... Is we have a parallel uh, analytics system that we built, uh -huh. which takes care inbuilt? of inbuilt. Okay. We, we use Zoho reports. Right, right. So we dump the data into Zoho reports and mm. we built a dashboard, which mm. actually gives me data of, like, you know, 
how much is cash is coming and all that stuff mm-hmm. so what does your dashboard contain what information does it contain uh, it basically contain meaning at, at the very very high level it gives me uh, cash flow right. right which is the monthly recurring revenue right and at a very very high level i know what is my marketing spend in a mm-hmm. month mm-hmm. and what is my uh, you know salaries and stuff like these are mm-hmm. the two big spend right. uh, three right. big right. spends mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. my hosting costs mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. actually most founders don't have the basics right mm-hmm. like for example if you if you sell something mm-hmm. so i mentally keep this in mind right, right? if you mm. if you sell something mm. and if it costs something to for you to make that mm. right mm. let's say i sell something at 10 dollars mm. and it cost me to make it cost me 2 dollars right i get 8 dollars mm. this is right mm. and then i have sales and marketing, marketing. expenses mm. let's say 4 dollars right i have gnd mm. 1 dollar mm. 5 3, three. yeah the profit before tax right and then you do tax mm. you pay 1 dollar mm. you got it. this is real cash you have here. absolutely mm. right you, you just it's a very simple thing mm. <laughs> right mm. you simply have this mental ma- mental right. picture right. in mind mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it will dramatically help it's not it's not rocket science actually absolutely absolutely right? it's, uh, yeah pretty pretty sure pretty simple stuff mm. I, actually in fact i should say that after i although i read commerce what mm. after i applied it mm. i revalidated my commerce knowledge right <laughs> okay okay actually, when uh, i study uh, it wasn't internalized yeah, absolutely you study it practical as well so once you understood it practically then you be, go back and read right. oh you know what that's what they were saying at that time right you sure. never connected it at the time <laughs> right right it, it was a beautiful feeling though okay right? okay the fact okay, that i'm right. able to explain it like this right i don't right. know many founders may not be able to explain it like this <laughs> <laughs> maybe your commerce background helps there yeah that, okay. that connection maybe helps <laughs> right But so the question is at the fundamental level i i want i'll just mentally keep okay this what's coming we are spending all these things hmm. as long as there is enough money we are fine right okay. because right. yeah right so, okay so um, your focus is on the cash basically mostly i uh, we uh, cash is uh, the central uh, right. thing right so right right cash is king <laughs> <laughs> so have you had any uh, cash flow issues in the past yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah. so how did you handle them uh, meaning i uh, i've done all sorts of stupid things <laughs> <laughs> tell me more please <laughs> yeah so like we, of course we haven't planned for cash because we didn't we didn't expect uh, meaning it cash flow issues is co- sometimes caused by revenue dips mm, mm, see mm. there are uh, cash flow issues your debt is yeah see there are two kinds of cash flow issues mm. one is cash flows coming because of collection mm. the other one is cash not happening because you didn't sell <laughs> <laughs> right. right yeah huh. so luckily with saas we are sort of out of the problem okay uh, of both these problems in mm-hmm. some sense right because that's at present at present right but in the middle ages of mm. our company mm. uh, we had both these problems okay which is like sometimes sales the every month you have to sell in right. saas you don't have to sell every month even if this month zero sales happens if every month i'm assured to get x amount of revenue okay and the is it like is an the, amc because it's recurring revenue recurring right? like revenue. you pay okay, for okay. monthly subscription right, it's right, like right. you you pay for your cable tv right 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 so if so you have once 100, you pay yeah you yeah, have if you have 100 customers and each customer is paying 500 rupees absolutely even it's if you done. don't get another one customer you're still Correct. assured, assured to get of the, that uh, revenue yeah the possibility yeah. one cable tv customer cancelling is very low true true you true. don't cancel subscriptions that that's true, that's that true. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, not a yeah, churn it's not a high churn absolutely yeah so our product has a very high stickiness so we mm. don't have that much churn mm. so that problem gives tremendous amount of mental relief for an entrepreneur correct Because correct every correct. month recurring revenues yeah, yeah recurring revenue and mm. every month you don't have to worry about oh what happens if this month sales doesn't happen right right, right. because it's very dangerous if this month sales see when i was in the middle ages of the company the sales doesn't happen this month we will not be able to pay salary 
Correct. So and then there is a cash crunch. Right? So apparently, how did you manage? Meaning, sometimes I have to borrow even from credit card. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, one time I had to sell my car. Oh. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. And then I have to sell my car and I have to pay for salaries. Mm. And this was actually in two thousand nine or ten time when there was okay. a uh, okay. that was depression. Right, right, right. Yeah, that's, that's not a, very long ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was depression time, right? Mm-hmm. So U.S. U.S. crisis, mm-hmm. all that happened. The uh, sub uh, sub prime crisis. Right, happened, right, right, right. right, sub-prime right crisis yeah. Happened. And then there was nine eleven follow through. Yeah. All that complicated, right? right. Suddenly everything stopped. So. So we, didn't you have any reserves at that time, cash reserves? No, we you see we were a startup, mm. and we were sort of. How running, old was the company that time? Uh, I was like four years old or something okay, like okay. that. Okay. So we were running hand to mouth at that time, mm, right? Mm. So, so it's not like we have reserves. Mm, mm. So, like even now, mm. we don't have a whole lot of reserves mm-hmm. because. Mm. Uh, we we probably have like five six months of reserve mm. uh, to run the company, mm. and but we invest as much as possible in marketing to grow the company because we are running on a recurring revenue model. Mm. We have an assured uh, revenue uh, every month. Re- revenue month, so we can pretty much you know pretty much assume that's right, going to happen. Right, right. So, and then so these recurring revenues are is it for a period of a year or more than a year normally? It happen forever. Oh. oh, wow. Okay, <laughs> okay. So okay. if you buy, it's like uh, the question is, is like you paid for a cable TV at your home. Mm-hmm. You keep paying month on month. When do you think about stopping it? Like for example, Will you leave, uh, the, leave the thing, or, or change would home? they think of a new service provider? I'm just, just very rarely. Very rare. Okay, okay. Like in, in like for example, in the last we have been living in my current home for seventeen years. I only changed my Dish TV from I went from Dish TV to Tata mm. in that only once. once that right, right, right. Okay, and so I've been using Tata for what like four or five long, years now, right, and right, before right. that Dish TV for seven years. So it's like technically it's for a very okay, long time. Okay, so okay, we computed okay. for four years. It's called yes. lifetime value. Right, right. LTV. Your LTV is for four years. Four years. Mm. We, we okay, use okay. that for four years. Sure, sure. Mm. So okay, okay, that's good. Okay, so you know your revenues. Yeah, yeah, we know yeah. our revenues. And, and you reinvest it in marketing. Yeah, we reinvest in growth rather mm. than building it as cash. Because right, right. the value of growing the company mm. is 10x. Right, and right. And when you put it in reserves, it only gives you 8%. Percent Absolutely, yeah. Right? And but tax as well, yeah. And tax as yeah, well. And yeah. if you spend it and grow the company, it's 10x Tenx. growth, right? Right, because, right, right. Uh, Every million I add, mm. the value of the company increases to ten million. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, yes, yes, yes. Okay, great. Okay, and uh, so how do you decide your spend on marketing? Like when, where, how? Uh, we are the inbound marketing company. Mm-hmm. Right. Hmm. And we are mostly digital marketing. Right. So we spend most of this online. Mm-hmm. So we are uh, like ninety eight percent online marketing. Okay. Right. Mm. So we don't do events. Mm. We don't do like you know anything else. Okay. We just do digital. Digital marketing. marketing. So you have a separate digital marketing in house team. Yeah, we are sort of a leader in Chennai. Oh wow! By the <laughs> way, I looked at your website. It was very nice. Yeah. yeah. So we okay. do. We have a huge team in digital marketing. Oh. We have. We have five designers, so we have like five content writers. Mm. We have a huge team. Okay, so you attribute most of your fresh revenues coming from marketing activities. All the time. So all the time, the marketing is marketing drives our sales. Okay. So ours is a marketing driven product, mm. right? So, mm. and customers come by knowing our product. Mm. It's like we don't call customers. Customers come to us. Wow. Yeah. What's the secret of that? Marketing. Right? Mm. It, it is like pure mar- only marketing. Only marketing. So in the initial stages, how did you manage? Just when you were starting off. Marketing. Is it? <laughs> okay. It's just that people don't do that. Right. People just don't do marketing really well. 
Mm-hmm. If you, they do really well. We never went for like ref, word of mouth or anything. Mm. We just started uh, marketing. Create the product, put it out there, do digital marketing, reach out to people online uh, through digital medium. Mm. Uh, right? And, and uh, if they have interest, they will come in, they try the product. If the product looks good, they buy. So that's the key. So in digital marketing, the product needs to really look good. Because you are not selling. Right, right, right. You are buying. People buy. Mm. They don't, you don't sell. Okay. When okay. people buy, they feel it and they like it and then they buy. Mm. So you can never, we are not seeing the customers. If Absolutely. We, we got Airbus as our customer. Mm. We have uh, Domino's Pizza. We have mm. Pepsi. Mm. We have a lot of big companies. Mm. We haven't seen them face to face. We don't even know who, who's that person who bought <laughs> right. it. Right. So they just right. came, signed up, tried it, put the okay. credit card and just bought it. Any competitors? For us? Yeah, yeah. as in, uh, supposing I am a prospective customer, uh-huh. why would I come to Orangecape and sure. not go to? Yeah, they will be at any time a, a customer who bought Kissflow already evaluated three other products. Oh. Three other, at least three other products. So your product stands out? Yeah. Meaning, they might have some, some, some of them might also have bought the competitors, right? Right, right, right. It's right. not like we win all the time. Right, right. So, right. our close ratio is 35 to 40 percent. So, uh, which is like, when I say close ratio, means like we have a funnel. Mm-hmm. In funnel, we have one stage called uh, opportunity, which is sometimes people just sign up and just feel for it and then go away. We don't count that. Mm. At some funnel, it goes down to an opportunity level, mm. and then we work with them iteratively. Mm-hmm. And finally, they become a customer. Mm. This close ratio is something ah. like forty percent from so conversion ratio basically. Then, yeah, close ratio, which is after we identify something is a legitimate opportunity. Right. From there, closing is like forty percent, mm-hmm. meaning thirty to forty percent. Right. It fluctuates. Right. Yeah. So, which means uh, competitors. Or getting the remaining, remaining 60. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Except that it okay. may not be a single competitor. It will be right, split around 5-6 people. Okay, so okay, the, okay. around 5-6 people, we are losing the remaining 60%. Which means right, like right. each one of them might be getting 10-15. Depends. So, and your products are based in dollars? I mean, you said yeah, in dollars, right? In dollars. So, like, have you done like, let's say, hedging or, or anything? How do you safeguard the forex fluctuation? We... People have come and ask me. I said I don't want to take that mess right now. Okay. Okay. So you anyway the <laughs> dollar has been uh, appreciating. Going up. So okay. Okay. So you're okay. Yeah. I, actually, okay. that's a problem for uh, big companies like Cognizant mm-hmm. because they have a lot of uh, dollar cash reserve. Right. Like they have billions of money. Correct. We don't have that. Mm. We are actually we spend pretty much all the money that we have. Mm-hmm. Right. Into marketing. Into mostly. marketing, and then we just keep it. Keep the like just to safeguard the money. We keep it just to make sure that nothing goes up. Right. Otherwise, we just pretty much keep spending all the money, and we don't want okay. to make. Uh, we just make notional profits. Oh, okay, okay. Just to make sure the book looks good. Okay. Otherwise, we just uh, mm-hmm. pretty much uh, spend all the money on marketing and grow the. Company. Your investors are okay with it, the notional profit. Of course. Meaning, in the sense, notional profit in the sense, we make profit. Mm. Meaning, if you don't spend on marketing, we make a lot of Lots. profit. Okay, okay, That's okay, what I okay, mean. okay. So, for okay. example, if you, if you don't spend on marketing, we can make a whole lot of profit. Yeah, but it doesn't make sense. Yeah, so yeah, what is the yeah. point in keeping, keeping this money? Yes, and then you have yes, to pay yes. tax for the government. Correct, correct, correct. correct. Right? Yeah, 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 might as well grow the company. So, we'll just, we'll not make more than 20, 30 lakhs profit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And we'll as a percentage? What's your turnover? Cannot tell the okay, 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 fine. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, no worries. Okay. Like in terms of absolute number, we make like 20 30 lakhs uh, profit and then we pay some 10 whatever percentage per annum. Per annum, uh, per annum. Mm. yeah. Mm. Meaning annual value, I'm saying. Right, right, right. It's, a, it's, a, it's just that. Even if, if you go to a bank or something and you're looking for an OD or something like correct, that, correct. Look, for, look for profits, absolutely, absolutely. Or is it a profitable company? Yes, they want yes, at least yes. it's a profitable company. Correct, so correct, correct. If you look at like last four years, it will be profitable. Right. But yeah. But the idea is we'll be a lot more profitable if you don't, if you don't do the spend. spending yes, because you're yes. spending in growth. Correct, correct. Yeah, so, so um, how do you mitigate your risks? We don't have so much financial risks right now. Okay. So I, right now this is not so much of a 
problem. See, once we get into this level of uh, financial risk mitigation, I'll probably hire a CFO. Okay, <laughs> you don't have a CFO right now. You don't have a CFO. Okay, okay. Uh, so, we have a person who's doing some uh, uh, fractional CFO role with part-time. us. Okay. Yeah, part time. Okay, okay. Uh, but it's very small amount and Right. He's a good guy. Mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. He's fine. So, what about like business risks? Or like, let's say for example, God forbid, but if the dollar just plummets down, then how do you think you're... That is a risk. Yeah. That's a risk for uh, India mm. because our spend is in rupees. Mm. And, and our yeah, earnings yes, is yeah, in absolutely, dollars. Absolutely, absolutely. And which means us. Spend is not going to decrease if dollar conversion decreases. Correct, correct. But if you're in the US, it's good because you're not, your spend is spend in dollars. Spend is in dollars and your revenue is in dollars. Dollars, Absolutely. so there's no yes, problem, yes, right? Yes, yes, so yes. That is a risk. Right, right now, it's an unmitigated risk. Right. Apart from that, any business risks that you foresee? That is the only big one, but uh, I don't know if that. Anything big is going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. No worries. But actually, I was thinking that dollar will sort of stabilize around 60 at least. I didn't, after Modi government yeah. came. Yeah, the last few days it's been <laughs> quite high. I didn't, I don't know, what is the number? 67, now? 40 or something. 67, 40. Yeah, 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 right, right. So, yeah, the, I was thinking it will stabilize at 60, but it didn't. Mm-hmm. But in a way, it's yeah, it good, is good for, for you, for right? Me, yeah. But it's not good for the country. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Like that's true. Import, that's like, true. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, do you think in the past there have been any financial blunders or mistakes? Financial blunders, financial blunders, financial blunders. I, I don't know whether it's a financial. I don't think so. Nothing really. Yeah, it's, okay. not, it's not. It's not and um, from the past if you were to do anything differently what would you do <laughs> in finance yeah, yeah i don't think that is there's not nothing no i think it could be a good question for a uh, finance, finance, finance. What do do? or even from the business perspective Actually, I, I, I think I would have probably hired a slightly more smarter uh, finance person. Mm. I think what happens is we end up inheriting a lot of liability. Mm-hmm. Uh, see, when, when early days, mm. we don't have enough money. Right. right. And finance is not a core function. Mm. Correct. It's a support function. Mm. So we look for somebody who can do bookkeeping and stuff like that. Mm, mm. It, when I said that accountant uh, talent, it's really the, the book bookkeeping, keep, absolutely, bookkeeping absolutely, talent, absolutely, right? Yeah. And we probably want to pay only 10,000 or something. Mm. And probably for 10,000, you'll only you get, get that. Yeah, that's right. right? Yeah, right? yeah, so yeah. there's no point in clipping about it. Mm. And we got that. Mm. But what happens over a period of time, that person spends a long time with us and Without realizing, he becomes part of the system and mm. part of the liability, mm. and you are also not able to get rid of him. get rid of that person because uh, he's been there, he's become known, and sure, uh, sure. you know he knows all the financial matters, mm. who mm. to go, mm. which bank to go, do mm. this thing, go to the auditor office, that all these new things. Correct, stuff. correct. And to me, to remove that and get someone to teach Take all these train things again, again yeah, is a pain, mess. Yeah. So we end up tolerating that incompetence mm. for a very, very long time. Mm-hmm. So I think if I had to redo this... Um, you didn't think of hiring a slightly senior person to kind of supervise him? There isn't enough work. Uh-huh. There isn't actually enough work. Actually, there's, one, there's only work for one person really. Right, right. right. Or you didn't want to outsource... That's too much. Okay, okay. okay. Anyway, you need somebody here to build... Pro- See, we have 150 employees. They have to process bills, mm. make mm-hmm. payments, Correct. all these things. We can't keep outsourcing that. Right. right. So, you need someone to do all that In stuff. House, okay, okay. Yeah, so I don't think it will work. Mm-hmm. So, that is one thing I could have uh, done better. Okay. 
and uh, your investments, your capital, how did you manage? We raised uh, 1 million funding. Mm -hmm. uh, it's through Indian Angel Network. Okay. Are you aware yes. of that? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, that was in 2011. Mm -hmm. But after that, we didn't raise anything. We were mostly bootstrapped after that. I see. Yeah. I see. And you are also an angel investor. I invested in a few companies, yes. Okay, so as an investor, what do you look? I just look for um, how the idea connects with me. Mm -hmm. For example, if somebody comes and pitches me an idea, there is an intuitive feeling that, yes, that sounds like something that worth solving. Okay, okay. And then, of course, everybody tells this and it's important that mm. who's doing that. Mm -hmm. the team behind that. Mm. And there are times that I have uh, just invested just because of the team. Okay. Irrespective of the idea. I see. <laughs> Because is it like known people known or people. known people? And okay. I've been sort of, we, we, we never became friends because of investment. Mm. We became, became friends because of something else. And then right. we've been working with them for some time, know them well. They seem to be smart. Not clear whether whatever they're trying to solve is a good one or not. But they're intelligent Initiative enough to too. figure it out or maybe pivoted to do something else. And maybe also want to help them. So, yeah, those kind of reasons I've invested. Like, Charge V is one of the companies I invested. Right. Just like that. I, oh, okay. I knew Krish well, and when he raised uh, friends and family round, he said, you know, you want interest? I said, okay. Right. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it happens. But actually, I already got my money back. So. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, I actually already got it more than. Yeah, I still have 50% of my investment left. Mm -hmm. The 50% I sold, and I already got double the investment amount I invested. <laughs> so, I well, can't prove any much. Yeah. So, I think my current investment, the 50% that I left is already four times worth than what wow. I invested. So, wow. so I can't prove any more. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, that's good. And... Um, what words of advice would you want to give the newbie entrepreneurs? Yeah, I think it's worth uh, for somebody like me to get the finance 101 right. Mm. right? Mm. Because, and it's not difficult. That's mm. the there is a there is a notion that finance is like very hard. Absolutely. And I think it's not true. Mm. It's easy actually. I think once they have the passion, then it yeah becomes easier. Yeah, yeah. and anyway, you need to understand it. And Absolutely. I think as founders, they have a fiduciary responsibility to right. to do that. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, whatever paper you are signing, mm. you better know what you are signing. <laughs> and most of the time, they're just your, uh, your auditor comes and shows you sign here, sign here, and then you just sign, right? Correct, correct, correct. So, actually, I found a lot of times, I found uh, errors in what auditors have done. Yeah, you'll have to check it, whatever said and done. Yeah. So it is your own yeah, Sometimes, is on you. you know, yeah. it's, uh, it's really uh, frustrating that how they can make the mistake, right? <laughs> <laughs> because I'm supposed to be not that competent when compared to them. <laughs> no, it happens many times, yeah. yeah. I have but also, I think yeah. the problem there is not that individual auditor is a problem. See, the way they also work, right? is that they have a team of 30 people, 20 people, Correct. and they employ yes. like the same bookkeeping type of oh, you know, mind, talent, people with mindset, yeah, mind, yeah. mindset, and they go there and they do some work, and they have like so many clients, and this person has prepared some report and shows to the auditor, he, he takes a look at it, maybe, <laughs> And that's okay, everything looks good, give it to this guy. Then it comes to me. Correct, correct, and that, correct. And that individual auditor himself, if he is preparing this report, you would have done a fantastic job. Right, because right. The, the, the structure of how the audit Absolutely. firm is set up, because they have like all these juniors mm -hmm, who prepare mm -hmm. this, and not all juniors are uh, all the Yes, great. yes, yes. And in that process, there is a lot of error. Mm. And I think I, I have caught quite a few mm. and of course sometimes I, I have to uh, like even challenge uh, sometimes like uh, auditors generally have this notion to uh, 
be extremely conservative mm mm right mm. but if you take a very extremely conservative approach mm. now it hurts the business correct 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 so then i'll have to say okay tell me the what is that uh, section <laughs> right and then i'll go online mm. and do some reading mm. and then i'll send them uh, there is like uh, there is one website called ca some club some ca club yeah. uh, i post the questions online and I get see. the answers and uh-huh. sometimes i write to that guy uh-huh. and then he says this is what it is is the tax matters right right and then i send to the auditor saying that see like this is what this guy <laughs> is saying why are we interpreting interpreting it like this right 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 so you can uh-huh. interpret it like this right uh-huh. because this is what it is and then now when i'm going back then they have no other choice no okay okay just <laughs> it like this so that's where your commerce helps <laughs> because i can okay. i can meet make meaning of what is sure, sure, yeah. sure. that's so, but i think that will be difficult for founders i think mm, yeah <laughs> and plus for them to devote the time and you know if they are not interested then but, they, but it's they, always good no they, to, they have no choice I, because it's all money cost okay, okay. if you if you if you just agree to everything right you will lose money right so true true, true. No, <laughs> absolutely yeah they actually. have to be cautious yeah, yeah. yeah. and uh, did you um, especially during the growing stages apart from the marketing spend uh, were you like very cost conscious or how did you control costs i'm really not a cost conscious person mm-hmm. okay okay mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so okay so only your aim is to just to boost the revenue yeah mostly uh, even personally mm-hmm. uh, i don't believe in so like so much in savings and all that stuff uh-huh. uh huh of course i believe in wealth creation right right I, i don't believe in wealth creation through savings okay <laughs> so there is a big difference yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so what are the <laughs> things that fascinates you in the sense wealth wealth creation how do you go like for example it? see our, our company is probably like close to 100 million in value uh huh uh I could have never ever did, did this by savings. <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, <laughs> right. 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 It's uh, it's going to take a uh, sure. many light years to do <laughs> in savings. <laughs> right. Right. Okay. So you focus on this. Okay. Okay. And um, I'm going to ask you something else. What are your future plans? Ah, uh, I mean, we have. Uh, because i don't have a specific future plan for from a finance angle okay no for the yeah. uh, organization right. yeah. so for the organization um, so we, we are right now um, of course it's very uh, what do you call domain specific mm. to our way mm. we operate mm. right? so mm. we operate in a market that is like 200 300 million dollars of uh, tam 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 is total addressable market okay okay mm mm-hmm. right? mm mm-hmm. so we are we are expanding the scope of what our product can do mhm we are going into a 10 billion dollar market from, from a, a 20 million no from a 300 million dollar market uh-huh to a 10 billion dollar market oh okay i mean of course a lot of competitors mm-hmm. <laughs> it's not going to be easy so uh, um, now what is the change you said The, the scope we're increasing scope. what the prop see for example mm. let's say I mean it's an easy example mm. so that we can understand sure. let's say i'm i'm apple mm. right until apple released iphone they were only selling macintosh right 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 and the market for macintosh was limited very limited so are you diversifying now yeah i'm just trying to explain sure yeah similarly when once you release iPhone mm. then you are literally going to every single customer who, who needs a phone will need to buy absolutely so the market is expanding expanded okay okay now, but in the similar way mm. right now for example we are solving process flow mm. process automation which we call this process flow mm. which is why we call this kiss flow mm. right mm. keep it simple and stupid mm. for smart people <laughs> uh, it's a flow right. we are we are now let's say this process flow market is only like 300 million mhm 
then we are doing something called case flow. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And case flow market is through to 3 billion, which is what fits in like fresh desk, mm. all that stuff fits into case flow, case I management. See. Okay, okay. Right? Mm -hmm. And then there is something called task flow. Mm -hmm. This is where like Trello, Asana, you, you, have you heard about these tools? Trello, I think I've heard. But Asana? Not. No, okay. No, okay. Uh. So, this is another 5 to 6 billion, billion dollar market. Oh, okay. So, now we are adding case management and task management functionality. Oh. So, and hence we are going from this market to this plus this plus this. Oh, wow. It's a huge leap. Yeah, so it's that's what our future plan, so trying to... And how do you plan to... Same online marketing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Hardcore marketing. We, okay. we, we, we know that we are a marketer. Right. So right. right. Okay. You know, okay. the, 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 the conference in which we are building this because we know how to market. Right. Right. We can, right. We, because we have an en complete engine mm. which knows how to market and how to sell. Wow. So you give me any product. I should. I will come to you now. Yeah. So you can <laughs> okay. give me any product. We can know, we know how to market it and how to sell it. <laughs> Of course, we don't do this for third parties. We yeah, yeah, only in house. Only, yeah, yeah, yeah. We do it for sure, ourselves. Sure, 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 sure. And we don't offer this as a service because sure. this is our Makes bread and butter. Yeah, bread and butter, and this is our core competency, right? This right, is our core right, competency. Right, 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 yeah. right. Are you involved in it? In the oh, marketing? Of course, I run marketing. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. My day, my day job is uh, marketing. Ah. I run okay. uh, marketing directly at posting. Okay. Directly reports to you. Oh, okay. Okay. On the technology, I thought you were more. Yeah, I am also a techie. Uh -huh. but, uh, techie uh, see, our company is very strong in technology. Right. So we have a tech head. Right. We can run it. Okay. Actually, in uh, I do two functions. Mm -hmm. I, actually, people may not know that. Mm -hmm. uh, in outside of, mm -hmm. see, in product company, mm -hmm. more than technology, PM is important. Mm -hmm. PM is uh, project manager. No. Oh. <laughs> it is product management. Product management. Okay. It okay. is not project management. Product management. Yeah. Product management is very important. In a product company. Yeah. Mm. So every uh, this and marketing. Mm -hmm. These two are what I do. So this determines what to build. Okay. This this links to strategy. Right, right. Product management is linked to strategy. Right, right, right. Marketing is linked to executing that strategy. Okay. Right? Hmm. And, and that's why I oh, <laughs> I look at all these, these because that's a very close connection. Right, right, right. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So, uh, any thoughts on the today's, or uh, yesterday's news on this flip cart? <laughs> Any such plans? Actually, I'm very happy uh, for the founders. Right. I think they clo made close to a billion dollars. Right. It, meaning, they have been criticized in the past of so many things, but uh, nevertheless, they. It's a good exit for the ecosystem, and sure. uh, I actually think that uh, luckily that Amazon didn't get it <laughs> because as customers, correct, as correct, customers, correct. yes, monopoly. competition. Yes, <laughs> right. Yes. Yeah, monopoly That's is not That's good. True. And now Walmart and uh, Amazon will fight it out mm. and uh, we will we'll get better service, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> we'll get better service, better discounts. <laughs> we'll <laughs> better get all deals, their money, yeah, yeah. better deals. <laughs> sure, sure. Okay, right, so, right. Yeah. so, yeah, I actually feel it's good. Actually, one more exit that's pending is Ola. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ola also does well. So, because, uh, see, what happens is in India, we haven't had these big exits. One of the reasons why India is not really doing really well in uh, some of the product space. In the US, there is a lot of $50 million, $100 million exits that mm -hmm. happen. Mm -hmm. See, if a $50 million exit happens, mm. the founder makes $20, $25 million. Right. And he, what does he do with that money? Start again. Yeah, he starts again. And right. Mostly he invests... Correct. In other companies, there's angel investment. Correct. If, if a founder makes $25 million exit, he easily invests in 15 companies. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm. 
and that's a ripple effect correct 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 right and mm. not see uh, any founder True. who's making 25 million dollar exit mm. not just knows money mm. he knows this engine that i told you he knows that right 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 and it cannot be taught mm. Mm. so and when he invests in a company he is also slowly going to because he has put this money he right, wants this company right, to right, succeed right. he's going to start transferring right that right, knowledge right. to them and they will eventually succeed mm. and that is how bit by bit silicon valley has built it right right I mean, India, okay we haven't gotten this uh, exits do you think this will now pave the yeah, way and again so there is always like in twitter there's a lot of comments going on mm-hmm. and, uh, somebody was telling such in Until that, uh, at least ten percent of the data that million, mm. you should keep it for angel investment. That is ten percent is what hardly, 80, yeah, eighty million. Ten mm, mm, percent mm. is less for less him. for him. Yeah, but eighty million I mean. is it's a lot, lot of money, money for, for the angel investment. Yeah, yeah, right, eighty yeah, yeah. million dollars for angel correct, investment correct. means if you if you give like half a million dollars, it's one hundred and sixty companies you can fund. That's wow. a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's yeah. a lot. Yeah. That's a lot. Mm. So yeah, in uh, so we need many of those things. Mm. Then only we can at least get closer to what Silicon Valley is. Yeah, we are very far behind. So any such thoughts for you? I don't know. We are right now very, <laughs> very the, okay. Very, focus on that. Very thrilled about what we are building. Okay. I'm very thrilled about it. So when is, is that going to take shape? This is the Independence Day release. Oh, okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Okay. 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 That's good. That's. I mean, not too far. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good. Good. Yeah. I think I've covered pretty much whatever I wanted. Thank you so much. No. Sorry.